Welcome to Excel in a minute. What are the different search modes you can choose from an X lookup? In this lesson, you will learn about the four search modes you can use in the function. The X lookup function searches a value and returns a corresponding value if the lookup value is found. This function runs on six arguments where the last three are optional. In this video, we will focus on the sixth argument called search mode. The first two search mode options are technically the same, but work on different directions regardless if your data is sorted or not, then returns the value from the first match it finds. The search first to last option searches the lookup array from top to bottom, or left to right, and the search last to first option searches for the lookup value from bottom to top or right to left of the lookup array. You can use these by inputting 1 and minus 1, respectively, as your sixth argument. For example, in this data, there are three listings for lipstick products, and we want to know the price of one of these lipsticks. If you search from first to last, the price it will return is $25. But if you search from last to first, the price it will return is $15. The other two search mode options are also technically similar but work on different directions. These are the binary search modes which requires your data to be sorted in ascending or descending order, then returns the value from the first match it finds. If you use two as the sixth argument, it will require your data to be sorted in ascending order and searches the data from first to last. On the other hand, if you use minus two as the sixth argument value, it will require your data to be sorted in descending order and searches the data from last to first. For example, we want to get the price for a paintbrush set, which is listed twice in the dataset. If we use the ascending sorted data with the sixth argument as 2, we will get the price $20. On the other hand, if we use the descending sorted data with the sixth argument as minus 2, we will get the price $45. And that's it. You are now familiar with the search modes that you can use in XLOOKUP. Expand your knowledge on this function by learning with us. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.